Assalamu alaikum. Hi everyone. Uh, today I am going to <clears throat> show you that how you will enter your decoder number into your satellite controller. So I have a power plus ES uh, satellite controller in my irrigation system and uh, today when I visited my site I came to know that two of my controllers are gone out. So I have to replace it. So I replace them in on site and then I write down their uh, numbers and I came back to my pump station and I was, I changed this satellite number. So first of all, I will go to Rainbow because you will need some codes there. So let me show you that from where you will get that code. So that is Rainbow. Now I'm going to Goff category because their uh, uh, controller belongs to Goff. Now I'm going to field controller and here power plus ES satellite controller. So power plus ES satellite, this is a very good controller and I used it and it is very easy and it will give you all those uh, functions which you want. So you will go to document straight away. Here you have the installation manual and here you have the operational manual. So you need the operational manual. You just, you will click it in English and it will be downloaded. So I have already downloaded and let me show you this I got. So this how it keypad will be. So there are a couple of arrow, these arrow keys you will use again and again. The start advanced button you will use again and again and this system information button you will use again and again. So station run times you have that other buttons are and there you have clocks, time, start time, start days, water budget, weekday, copy, store, paste and these multi manual and set budgets etc. There you have six programs and then we have M1 and M2 other programs. There's, these are the moods that in which mood you want you want to go you want to operate. So I'm going down 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 let me go down. Here you have that how which mood is doing what and which button is for what thing or what function. So then you have the programming then you have the power on up button then you have the control moods that which mood uh, and how, what you will do with which mood. Of what is off mode, what is manual, and uh, then you have the clock setting, and you have the water watering start days, and you have the variable cycle, you have the schedule, station run times. So if you want to need to know about those things, I will give you another lecture about that. But today we are going to uh, change the decoder. So I'm going to page number 20. Okay, please uh, look at this thing, the station limits. These are the controller, field decoder, FD, 102, 202, 401, Right, so 102, you can operate two solenoids at once. And here you can operate two solenoids at two different times. And here you can operate one solenoid at four different times and one solenoid at six different times. Right, so... Uh, there you will have four wires, four uh, solenoids and each solenoid will be operating separate. There you will have six solenoids and each solenoid will operate separate. And here you can uh, install two solenoids and each solenoid will go separate. While 102 you can operate two solenoids at once. So these are the decoder types and now you have the control setup. So first you will go to a system information button, you will click it, then you will click it again and again till the terminal came in, then will be no, you will turn it to yes and then you will enter the code. That code is 538, right? So I was looking for this code, 538 and then the rest is that how you will do it. So how you will do it, I will show you uh, that practically that how I did it and how I entered my uh, controller decoder number. So there you go. Uh, this is my controller. So I'm uh, pressing my system information button. I will uh, press it again. 
these are 16 volts maximum you can run at a time. So here is the terminal, let us say no, I will turn it to yes by pressing the arrow key and then I will press the start advanced button. So there you go, now I have to enter the password 538. So I will press the up arrow key, oh lizard, oh, come on, come on, back to work. A lizard jump up, okay sorry. So I have to enter it 5. One, two, three, four, five. Now I have to end to three. One, two, three. Now I'm going to go to eight. Uh, there, there, 538. It's done. Start it once button. You have to press it. Now it is to decoder mode. So uh, in this decoder menu, uh, I have different uh, decoders to up to 72. I have 72 decoders entering it. So let me go to station number one. So station number one, I already entered the problem that I was facing with number 22 and 38. So I'm going to 22 first. Here is 22. So please, I'm going to start at once button, press it. Now this is the old number 10039. That was the decoder number which is gone. Uh, now I'm going to press the new one. So the new one that I installed on ground is uh, this one. 10149 is their number. So 1, 0 is already there, so I'm going to 1, I turn to 4 and 9, there it is. So it's done. <clears throat> now I'm going to <clears throat> next. There are two walls, okay. And uh, now I'm going to station number 38. So press, 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 38. Okay, started once button. 10322, that is, was, was the old number. So I have new one, 10151. So 10151 I have to enter it here, press down arrow key, go to 1, then go to 5 and uh, the next I have to go to 1. Now I am going to start at once button and uh, now I will go straight to station number 72. So 72, 72 where it is, go, 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 there, 72. Press, press, and press again. Okay. Now you will go up and down with your arrow keys and you will go to exit mode. So where is exit? Uh, let me check it that everything is fine. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. Everything is fine, I think. Okay, everything is fine. So now I have to, <coughs> I have to check it. No, no. Okay, okay, I pressed the wrong button. Let me go back to 72 and uh, then, then I will press the start at once button and then I will go to exit menu. So here I have the 72 and press start at once, press again and again. And now you will press the arrow keys. So arrow keys, now session test time, line survival, 60 hertz, sensor, solenoid type, exit, there it is. So now it will turn off and turn on again automatically. So because it's saving uh, its memory that what is what I feed, uh, now it's fine. So if I want to go back and I have to check it, that uh, the station number that I have feed in or they are there or not. So I'm going to cross check it. So this is no terminal. I will take it. Yes, I press the key. I am going to put the code 538. So 538 is there and I'm going to press 888888. Yes. Okay, started once button. Press it. Now I'm going to start the button. Okay, okay, everything is fine. Uh, yeah, yes, 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 come back, come back, come back, come back, okay, come back, come back, and here, station setup, no, no, yes, okay, now I'm going to station number 20, so station number 20, 20, 20, there you go, press it, I have 10149 and I entered there 10149. Yes, okay, the, they are matching. 
I am going to 38. So press, press, press 38, 38, go to 38. There you go. Yes, 38. So this is the address. Yes, it is fine. I have feed it and it is correctly saved. So now I'm going to turn it off and turn it again on and I will test my sprinklers by turning on that station, putting on the station on irrigation. So everything is fine. Thank you for watching and listening. Please like and subscribe my channel and thank you for watching. So next time we will meet again and we will learn more about the irrigation system. Thank you.